Hi guys, Captain Tiger Lily here. We're back with more of Control and we gotta go chase after Hartman again. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this, uh, but we have to go into the transit bay, which is over here. And I feel like this is either gonna go really good or really bad, but that seems to be par for the course for me with this particular game. So before we get started and shove Jesse into God knows what's gonna happen next, um, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos from me. Hit the notification bell, that way you guys know when new videos go live. And share the video around to anybody you think might enjoy watching me play through Control. Let's, uh... Feck it, let's go. Also shooting. Okay. Okay. Can I back up so I can shoot that? Um, I'm gonna go in here. Whoo! Nice and bright in here! Okay, so I need four different thingies. Oh, I bet they're in those little... Orange peel? Where are you, Hartman? I don't even know where the hell you are. Oh, you're right there. I feel like I've... Alright. No. Nope. No, you don't. Where'd it, where'd it go? Come here. We need another power core. Oh shit, getting that one's gonna be hard then. Hartman, why are you there? I don't like him being there. I really don't. Nope. Okay. There's one up there. And I need to figure out how to get it. Okay, what am I... Hartman, why are you standing right there? No. Go away. How do I get that one down? I don't know how to do that. Oh, no, no. No! I don't like that you're up there. I'm gonna need you to leave. Where's the other one? It's up, 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 isn't it? Hartman, go away. Uh, leave me alone. What did that do? 
I don't know what this did. Okay, well, this is not ideal. Now I've got weird corners that I have to try and figure out. Okay, so I'm here. Oh, it's gonna be that one next. Okay, well... Come on, then. Okay. Hartman, where are you? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Are you serious? Come back here now. Okay, there's that one. I only have one spot. the other one okay Shit. oh got him fuck in front of us, Jesse! Please tell me this is gonna kill him. Nope, he's just gonna run. Cool. Return to active investigations. That's fun. Well, I'm gonna look around in here. I'm sure there's probably some stuff I haven't gotten. Oh. There's an item over there. I guess. Anything out here? Any goodies? Mm, I don't see anything. Well, that was an uh, interesting fight, I guess. I did not enjoy that. I really did not. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way. Sure, why not? Is this the correct path? 
Where's active investigations? Oh, it is not the correct path. This is the correct path. Well then, astral constructs. Can I make anything? I can't. I need one more shaded facet. That's what I need. Well, okay, let's uh take our elevator. I want to know what was on that floor. I didn't get to go there, but I saw a heckin' goody. Okay. Are we safe in here? Director, ma'am. Cool. Great timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the security door into the Bright Falls AWE site wide open. Yeah, see that. So ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him. And Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's <laughs> strongest men. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. Both. Back when it was all practical effects. Both. Oh. Both is good. Nasty. Real Did you say something? Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. Ah, oh, so disgusting. Okay, well, I guess that's where we're going. Oh, joy. I don't really want to do this, but it is what it is. I've written, rewritten. The darkness wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. Okay, stand under the light. For a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. Okay, we're gonna watch the whole thing in a second, but because we know that's not the whole thing. It never is. Like it's never the whole thing. Um. Nope. Fifty versus sixty-one. Nope. Not as good as strength. And uh, what about weapon mods? No, I don't want that either. Okay. Oh, I do have two shaded facets now, so I could have technically done that, but whatever. Hotline! Writing on the manuscript. Okay. I've written and rewritten. Deconstructed, reconstructed. Experimented with different voices. Changed the style, changed myself. Forgotten the language, relearned the language. wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress. Recap, then write more. The style then. Lose the fat. Make it clear. Ugly. Functional. Present. Be blunt. Tear it apart, rewrite it. Be clever, make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it, you just imply. Incept. They're drawn to the mystery, obsessed. You set it up, they put it together. Their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it because it's theirs now. My goodness. Uh, Mr. Wake, sir, it sounds like you're slightly losing your mind. <laughs> For those of you who are as big a Critical Role fans as I have, <laughs> help, it's again. <laughs> you know exactly what that's from. Alright, anything else? My question is, if he tore through here like a bat out of hell, how did he get somewhere else? Was the elevator not there? I don't want to go down here. Here we go. Oh, stuck. Let's go to 
take care of it. Is there anything else in here, though? I can collect? Let's get that first. You know, I'll do that from inside the elevator. Anything else? Okay. Oh God! I don't know what's behind me, but I don't like it. Okay, are we good? Amazing. Let's hop back on this thing and then go down. Bye! Well, that was eventful! Oh, good. We got a thing. Oh, is that a... Thank you for meeting with us. Oh, we got a thing to listen to. Okay, well, first of all, we're going to claim the point. Something got dragged through there very bloody-like. Okay, can I do the thing I want to do yet? I could do shield or I could do seize. I think I want to do seize and then we'll do shields. Yeah. 15% to siege duration I got it we're gonna have all the friends okay like all the friends charge blast boost ooh okay is that better than what I had I don't know might be last radius 99 uh-huh, that is better. I love that. We love a good near 100%. That's amazing. Okay. Alrighty then. That's a good one. Uh, let's listen to this uh, multimedia thingy. An interrogation. Thank you for with us again, Dr. Hartman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I provide is so that's what he used to sound like. Some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of- We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Nope. No, they don't. And they gonna do what they gonna do anyway. So, well. Here we go. 
I beg your pardon? Here we go. Oh, that's fun. Here we go again. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Oh, poor Alan. Jeez. What is going on inside his head is the crazy thing, like... What is coming? Dive <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Well, that was that was something. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Yeah, he does. Okay. What's behind door number one? Okay, do I have a light source somewhere? Let's try a different one. Oh, maybe I just don't get a light source. Oh, or that. That works too. Blinded by the light. Battleoo, I suppose. Do it again. Protector screen. It's not as bright on the second monitor. <laughs> okay, then. Aha. I'll take the keys. Going in bad. Wake had to escape right in his escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Okay, then. Well, we'll take a look at that after I get done in here. Okay, well, we're gonna do that now, then. Hotline, please. The Jeez, it's almost two minutes long. Beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river. he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in 
the story about the government agency Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. I'd try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Poof. All right. I guess we're going to get the light on. for ordinary I wonder what happened here okay where do I okay over there is where I need to go so let's get some power back I don't need that right now. Okay, I gotta get over to there. Come on, Jesse. Okay. All right. I guess I can come back for goodies after. Okay. I don't know what this gets me though. You see my problem? Like, uh, do I have to get inside this building or something? Nope. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's something lit up over there. Um. trying to get a better vantage and see what the hell's going on because I don't actually know. Okay. Aha! Here we go. Did we get him? Okay. How?
Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's one. Okay, so that's one thing. Okay. so focused like I was barely talking through that entire fight I apologize I was so focused I had that fight too fuck oh, do I want to try it again part of me does but I think I'll do it in the next episode because we've got I got a few collectibles we'll read through those real quick Dr. Emil Hartman I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Mm. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. So I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Disappointing nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm the chance to return as they have all that remains is the dive itself mm. it frightens me i admit but such is the burden of the truth seeker i will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me that was a bad it's choice time for a breakthrough until i return so me thinks that he went and tried to do the thing and then that's how he became the thing that was hartman Okay, well, let's read about Bright Falls. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deer Fest. Eyewitnesses all claim that that claim that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of areas weather reports. But then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of Anderson Farm and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from somebody. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent, see employee file something, managed to guide the crowd to safety 
As the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood, not great. The festival is cancelled, ending one day early. <laughs> Lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE, though the similarity to other known events in Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of townspeople. Eek. Okay, an interview with Alice Wake. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on a specific date in 2017. The interview conducted by agents Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake had had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment. Okay. Mr. Wake appeared out of nowhere and rushed at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on throughout the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the something. Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of the supply request have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. Oh, Alice, I'm so sorry. That sounds horrible. Could you imagine going through something like that every time? Back in hell. No thanks. Okay, so, ooh, I can make one. Mm, let's do... Yeah, we'll do one of those. What do we got? Launch efficiency. Okay. Is it better than what I had? No, it's not. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here, and we're going to try to defeat Hartman in the next episode, because I got so close in that fight. He was really close. I was really close to low. I did not realize how much I would take from that. I was trying to dodge out of the way and it just wasn't working, but it's fine. It, it is what it is. I don't know if my shield would have blocked it much in that one, but I was very focused on shooting because clearly the explosions were doing something. But anyway, if you guys liked this video, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos from me. Hit the notification bell, that way you guys know when new videos go live. And share the video around to anybody you think might enjoy it watching me play through Control. I'm interested to see what happens with this. I don't know if defeating Hartman is the very end of the, of the uh, DLC. It would kind of suck if it is. But at the same time, I get it. And I did make, I did make promise that once I finished the DLC, that was it. No more unless you guys specifically explicitly say you want me to like go through and complete things. That would be on my own time though. The main game will end with the Alan Wake expansion DLC. It will end with that. And afterwards it might take me a week or two, but I'm going to go through and pull bits and pieces of me talking about the game and things that I loved about the game. It's going to be a longer video, but I'm really excited to kind of talk, like really get in depth about what I loved about the game, what I didn't love about the game, which there aren't a lot of things that I didn't love about the game, but to really talk about the things that really stuck out to me, what really kept drawing me back in and those kind of things. But anyway, I'll talk about that in my end of game video. But for right now, if you want to get caught up before the end of this DLC, which I have a feeling is coming very soon, since we're actually having a fight fight with Hartman, I'm going to leave the full playlist down below me on the screen. That way you guys can get caught up on everything that's happening before the new episode in a few days. Um, I am also going to leave the link down in the description if you guys want to play for yourselves. And if you do play for yourselves, let me know what weapon is your, like, which form is your favorite of the service weapon and which outfit of Jessie's is your favorite. I'm really partial to this one. I do like her original classic, just straight outfit with the leather jacket and the roll up sleeves. And I also do like her director outfit. I want to try to find the yellow suit. I've seen the yellow suit. I want the yellow suit. I don't know where it is. <laughs> If anybody knows where the yellow suit is, let me know down in the comments and I'll go get it because I want the yellow suit. But anyway, that being said, I'm Captain Tiger Lily and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.